now that we're understanding that Babylon is typified as a mountain and God speaks of casting the mountain into the sea to picture judgment day, in Revelation chapter 6, it says in verse 12, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Now, as soon as we read that, we know, because it's the Bible making identification. It's the Bible sort of waving a flag to us. You know this has to do immediately after the tribulation, because we're supposed to compare Scripture with Scripture, and we see Matthew twenty four twenty nine, which we read earlier, and other verses that the sun is darkened immediately after the tribulation. That is Judgment Day. So we're reading of Judgment Day here in Revelation 6. And verse 13, And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll, when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. At the time of Judgment Day, God is speaking of the mountains moving. Every mountain is moving. And yes, we know that Satan was down to his last head, representing his last kingdom or mountain. But in a real way, at the end of the Great Tribulation, Judgment Day, when Satan was judged, it was a judgment against his whole existence, against all of his periods of rule over the earth. All of his heads came under judgment. And all the mountains, all the pictures of Satan's rule over the unsaved people of the earth throughout all history really come into view as being under God's wrath. And so God speaks of every mountain were moved out of their places. Another verse in Revelation 16, verses 19 and 20. And the great city, which would be Babylon, and the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. Now, every island fleeing away is a reference to the continents, as every continent is like an island, and therefore it's picturing the world. And what is the world but the kingdom of Satan? And so God is really doubling or repeating the same thing when he says every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. And notice again in verse 19 of Revelation 16, God is clearly, without any question, focused on the judgment of Babylon. And then he speaks of every island fleeing away and every mountain is not found, exactly as it was stated in Revelation 6. But Revelation 6 didn't mention Babylon. Revelation 6 was talking about the judgment on the world. And in verse 14, And the heaven departed as a scroll, when it was rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. That's just another bit of evidence confirming the judgment on Babylon, the judgment on the world are one and the same. And Babylon is typified by the island and by the mountains. It's the kingdom of Satan. And Satan rules over this world, over the unsafe people of the earth, they are these mountains that are cast into the sea, according to Matthew 21. And God's people will be involved. The Lord Jesus comes to judge the world and ten thousands of his saints with him. The complete number of the elect are instrumental in the judgment on the world. It's a judgment that God performs and has written about in his word. It's a judgment God then opens up information in his word to reveal his righteous judgment in the day of his wrath to his people. And then it's a judgment we see, first of all, by faith. We believe by faith. We share with others by faith. And in so doing, now we have done what Christ has done in cursing the fig tree, 
in believing that the church age has come to an end, that God is completely and utterly through with the churches and congregations, and it's an eternal judgment upon them. We believe that wholeheartedly. And now we believe equally wholeheartedly that God brought to pass Judgment Day, May 21, 2011. What did we say in the days leading up to that point, to that date? The Bible guarantees it. What an incredible statement of faith that is. What an incredible declaration of faith that is. And now in these days after the tribulation, after researching and examining all the information that caused us to make that declaration in the first place, And we go back to the Bible, we review and check everything out, we search the scriptures to really see, is it so? Were we wrong? Were we in error? And we settle upon this, and we affirm this to be so, that May 21, 2011 was Judgment Day. It was the day God shut the door of heaven. And we believe it, and therefore it is understood by faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's exactly what a spiritual judgment is.